Notre Dame at uh, Navy, and and it's not it's not at I guess I mean it's you know it's in Baltimore, like I, so this one's on ABC. It's a 12 p.m. Eastern time game. Um, weird, weird spot, weird spot. Let's go in and pull it up on the screen, and then I'll read off the trends here. Uh, Notre Dame is a 15 and a half point favorite as it sits currently, uh, and I've got Notre Dame by 15.72. Uh, over the last uh, five weeks, these are the, the numbers are from the last five weeks that I'm going to talk about here on the screen. Notre Dame five and two against the spread, their last seven at Navy. Um, Notre Dame ten and two against the spread, their last twelve after a straight up win. They are fourteen two and one against the spread, their last seventeen in November. Notre Dame develops and gets better at the end of the year. They've done it over and over and over again. Navy five and zero oh against the spread against uh, teams with a winning record. Certainly plays in their favor. And Navy, as well, also develops. They are 22-8 and eight in their last 30 uh, against the number in November. So this is also a team that may not be all that good at the beginning of the year, but they certainly round into form by the end of the football season. So let's dive into some numbers here. Let's talk about this. Um, Notre Dame, the offense does not throw the football. Over the past five weeks, they have thrown the ball 17.42% of the time. Um, it's just not, it, it's crazy. Uh, their rush rate is 81, a little over 81%, almost 82%. This is this is kind of crazy. Uh, when you think about the, the split here, I, <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong numbers. That's Navy. That's Navy. Let's look at Notre Dame's offense. Excuse me. Notre Dame's offense throws it 34.8% of the time. That it's still still low, but not that crazy. Uh, the the beauties of having to record all of this at one time for a podcast, right? Notre Dame's offense, um, number one twenty four as far as passing rate, number eight as far as rushing rate. They are pretty good. Um, they're not explosive running the ball, but number twenty two in rushing success rate, uh, number twenty six in offensive line yards, number seventeen in stuff rate allowed. Yeah, this bunch is pretty good. Number 21 in standard down success. As long as they can stay ahead of the chains, this is a really good offense. They do not throw it well. They do not throw it often. I don't blame them. But that is the weakness of the Navy defense. Navy is number 129 in PPA per pass, number 117 in passing success rate. Notre Dame, number 83 in offensive passing success rate. So, yeah, it's uh, it's a little bit different here. Uh, As far as the Navy defense... Number 20 in rushing success rate allowed. Number 14 in offensive line yards allowed. Number 16 in stuff rate allowed. Uh, or in stuff rate for their defense. They are, this is a good, good front seven for Navy as far as the defensive side. Now on offense, Navy, number 18 PPA per rush over the last five weeks. Uh, they are number 17 in rushing explosiveness. Notre Dame is number 102 in that metric. There are, there are definitely ways that you could see Notre Dame, um, running away with this thing, but this is a massive letdown spot. And I know that my number is basically right on it with Notre Dame minus 15.7. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you, because this is such a letdown spot, anything over two touchdowns, I would probably take Navy uh, to cover the 15.5 and a half here. Uh, this is another one of those where the total is 39.5 and, and Notre Dame is favored by 15.5. Uh, in spots like that, you're looking at a team total for Navy around 12 and a team total for Notre Dame around 27 and a half. Um, that is, you don't normally see a lot of margin when you have such a low total. So I would bank on Navy being able to put up, you know, maybe a couple of touchdowns here. And, you know, Notre, if Notre Dame wins this 27 to 14, they don't cover, right? That's still a massive win, you know, a, a good dominant win for them. But... Yeah, I could certainly see Navy doing it, even if it is just a, a backdoor late in the ball game. So I will take I will take Navy plus fifteen and a half on this one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.